All right, so we're uh, back here again today, and look what I see. They actually cut this behind the uh, fence, which, what a waste of money. And like I said, just hike down the road right out here. As this is where I cut through, you know, and then just come down that. Why, uh, but uh, anyway, it, does, it is a nicer hike behind the fence. And uh, so I wonder what they felt when they <laughs> saw all this already cut. But uh, I'm hoping this means that they've been back in there and uh, maybe we'll just be hiking. Unfortunately, I got to carry everything with me just in case because I want to break through to that road that I was telling you about and get, you know, as far north as I can today and, uh, and then hopefully get to the next parking area. I don't really want to come back here again unless I have to. So maybe we'll just be hiking, but uh, like I said, I got to... I got a long ways to go to get back in there and carry. I know that's another thing. I got to figure out how to strap that weed eater on my back, but I don't know how, so I got to carry it. And uh, well, let's let's get going. Got a couple couple miles to go. Whoo, man! Here, I'll get a selfie here. Bit of a hike to get back in here, and I mean, I'm back in here. So uh, let's hope there's no uh, bears or wild boars. But uh, I'm really disappointed. Uh, Let's just swing around, I'll show you. That's what we gotta cut through if I'm gonna hike this. And um, even coming up here, I did improve the trail just a little bit as I was walking along, but uh, man, I'm sweating just getting here. And uh, the skeeters are out a bit, but not too bad. Not as bad as last time, I can tell you. And I got them, now that I raided that uh, bin that my wife stuffed all my uh, backpacking gear in, <laughs> I got my bug netting today. So we're, we're ready for it. Uh, I'm completely outfitted. I'm ready for, for anything that comes. Uh, so anyway, I guess I'll just start going. And man, I tell you, it's going to be slow. It's going to take a while. I don't hope I get to that road today. I just, I'm tired of coming back here. But, you know, to hike this trail, like I said, I'm going to do all 1,000 miles. And sometimes I'm just going to have to cut my way through it. Let's get going. So all I can do is just... Try to beat it down so that it's not up above my waist, you know, for the bugs. And I'm not really trying to make it perfect, you know. You couldn't tell, but I've probably been about a quarter, half a mile up in here so far. And what I do is I leave the backpack behind because it's heavy. you got all the batteries in it. And then when I encounter something that I need the uh, clippers for, like right here, can't weed eat that down. It'll just break the string. So I went back, got the backpack, and uh, I'm going to cut that down. But, uh, and you can see we're, we're getting through here. It's slow going, man. I tell you, I, I much prefer just hiking, but you know, it tasks me. It's just like the wrath of Khan, man. It tasks me. I'm going to get through this portion of the trail and I'm hoping if and when we ever get to that road that I know is up here, I don't remember where it is that I won't have to be doing this. Now you can see right through here, it's not... Not too bad. So maybe, you know, we can get on it. Oh, well, let's just go ahead on up in here. So here, I'll cut off. You don't need to, you can see that something's been back in here, some sort of vehicle. Man, I tell you, boy, I, they <laughs> gotta be a Jeep or something because they're not worried about getting scratched. They're just leaving all this stuff. Now we're gonna cut down some of that right there and, you know, just try to make it passable here. And uh, anyway, go back and get the weed eater and we'll, just keep on going. I, sometimes I think I'm off the trail because there's really no trail to look at. But you see that orange mark on the tree. So we know we're still good to go. So here, look at this nice little area. Boy, wouldn't mind stopping and just, well, I will stop here and get some water and a snack. And there it goes that way. Well, you can see where the, the pigs or whatever have been back in here digging. But like I said, I'm loaded for bear if they come after me. But uh, we'll keep going. Well, I just want to show you this. I mean, there's a reason people aren't hiking this portion of the trail. Whatever vehicle, redneck or city or state or whatever came back in here. I mean, this is what it looks like. They just totally destroyed the trail. Now, I'm leaving stuff like this on the side. I hope it gets big enough that it's going to scratch the crap out of whoever or whatever did all of this damage. You know, who wants to hike through that? I mean, and this is after we haven't had rain for three or four days. It's just a shame, but uh, still, still going. So like I said, see, I'm leaving those leaves there 
I'm trying to cut it just wide enough so that you can hike it and leave leave as much as I can so to whatever came back in here it's gonna make it tough for it so my, but then man with those big treads I, I imagine that was a big vehicle but uh, this is what the trail looks like isn't it isn't it just a crying shame that they would do something like this oh well I'll keep on going there's a weed eater way up there so here's just another example and then I'll be quiet about it but I mean look at this that's unhikeable so what I did is I just cut up through here you know and I'm gonna leave I'm gonna leave all that right there screw it hopefully it'll get big enough to cause some damage if they try to bring something like this back in here again so all right once again <clears throat> just look at this see I'm leaving all that in man I hope that gets nice and big so what I did is I just cut to the right here just to go up around around this what this vehicle did God look at that damage to the trail but anyway we broke out <laughs> <laughs> I think that's just going to be a remainder of the day hiking. I'm going to, I'm going to cut down a few little things in here. Oh, almost, uh, almost fell. I am tired, man. I've been sweating my buns off. But uh, you can see, I just cut to the right again, right up through here, and we'll save it for when I get to what you got to see. It's a happy day. Oh, happy day. See what you see? What perseverance does? Perseverance will get you to your goal eventually even though i swear it didn't it didn't seem like i was ever ever gonna get to where the trail turns all right hold on so you know it don't look it but i took me a long time to beat this down and i have mainly worried about uh, snakes at this point as much as i love snakes i don't want one biting me so i wanted to make sure was, you know i figured that weed is gonna, <laughs> gonna scare them away so i had to cut through here I look at the vehicle but i just got Gotta got to share in the moment. You gotta share this moment with me. Okay, so let me get out of the mud. So I cut around that post because it was all grown up and I just wanted you to see this. There it is. There's the Florida Trail. No weed eating that way, thank God. And I'm wondering, maybe I wouldn't have to hike the trail. Maybe this could take me back to that road that I came in on. Because, I mean, that trail is just in such bad shape. I wouldn't mind just hiking back this way. So we're going to spend the next hour or so kind of exploring around here. There's a there's an old, looks like a tree stand, I suppose. So somebody's back in here hunting. But, man, look at look at what they did. They came in and they, well, they cut all of that. I wonder, I hope they're not developing it. I'd, I'd like to, maybe that's a fire break, I suppose. You know, because it comes in this way and uh, and then goes on that way. So... A little more maintenance and then uh, I got to hide this stuff in the woods and we're going to be hiking and uh, maybe get some video if I see anything interesting. I mean, this is interesting. This is where I was trying to get to for three whole days. All right. Okay. And I'm going to re-record this because it was on live focus feed. That's why it was giving me that. So anyway, this is as far as we're going to get today. That's uh, really depressing. They haven't been back here. They, you know, when I came up on this post and I saw that, I said, oh, man, are you kidding me? So I'm going to give it a couple, three weeks before I come back to try this trail again. And uh, at least we got it up to this point. Uh, I'm just going to take the remainder of the day and explore this way. And I'll check the video in the previous clip and maybe just delete this. And then I'm going to go up that road and see if it can get back to... Uh, I think it's 134. If it does go to 134, I could bring a car down in here and just park it here and just continue working through there in a couple, three weeks. But, uh, or I you know my motorcycle, or my auto motorcycle will come back here, but I, no way to carry that weed eater unless I could strap it on my back or on the bike. Uh, all right. Um, the video idiot strikes again. I didn't know I was in the wrong mode here on the phone. Once again, you know, I just, uh, it just amazes me. I'm going to take it on in. I hate to do it. I really, really want to see. We're, I'm going to drive down that 134, see if I see something like this that comes out into the road when I get back to the car. But I didn't bring... <laughs> I didn't bring a hat. Dang on it. That sun's just going to sunburn my face if I just continue going on this. Because uh, I was going to be back. I thought I was going to be back in the woods the whole darn way. 
but uh, you know and there's not a cloud in the sky which is why I came out today so as far as I'm gonna get I, I it's gonna be a while before we get back on the Florida Trail going in this direction because uh, if I do come back this way I'm gonna hike this road so then maybe get a video of that probably not a lot to see as you can tell and I want to see where it goes uh, I went down this way until it just got too muddy that I didn't want to just didn't want to hike through the mud and uh, but I do want to see if going back this way if it pops out into uh, 134 which I bet it does but now I, I got to hike back through that trail that I just cut and uh, I won't be cutting in there no more but uh, if I do I mean I hate to man that's a long ways to carry that weed eater to get all the way back to here so if I can come down this road that would just save us a lot of trouble and uh, we'll continue working our way north uh, I don't know maybe I can go up to another spot on the trail and work my way back um, in fact I'll you know that's exactly what I'll do I'll look online and uh, but I mean, if I can't come down this road that is and I'll see if I can come back the other way all right